Dhaka exploded onto the scene a decade ago and brought containers into the mainstream, but some argue that Dhaka's popularity may also lead to its downfall. In this video, we'll explore whether Dhaka is still relevant or if it's becoming obsolete. The big question we'll address with Kubernetes, Container D, and more in the picture does Dhaka still matter? Let's start by exploring this question What does Dhaka do? Docker has three key components. The first is the Docker client. This is the primary interface for interacting with Docker. It communicates with the Docker daemon to manage various Docker objects, including images and containers. The second component is the Docker daemon. This is the core engine that manages container operations. It resides on the system running the Docker software, commonly known as the Docker host. The Docker daemon can utilize OCI-compliant runtimes like Containerd and Cryo for running containers. The third component is Docker registries. The most commonly used is Docker Hub. These registries store and distribute container images. Before we move on, let's briefly touch on the Open Container Initiative. OCI standardized container runtime, image, and distribution specifications. This ensures that the container ecosystem remains open and not tied to a single vendor. Now let's move on to key Docker commands. When you run Docker pull, images download from registries. Docker build uses a Docker file to build an image. It adheres to the OCI standards for image formats making it compatible across different runtimes. Docker Run starts a container from an image and is managed by the Docker daemon. Here, Containerd and Cryo can serve as underlying runtimes, thanks to OCI compliance. In short, Docker has popularized several key concepts in containerization. One, a standard image format. Two, streamline the building of container images. Three, enabling the sharing of images through registries. Four, facilitate the actual running of containers. While Docker initially relied on proprietary technology, it has increasingly embraced open standards like OCI. This openness has paved the way for alternative clients runtimes, and registries that also adhere to these standards. The very standards and ecosystem Docker enabled may now be making the Docker engine replaceable. With OCI standardizing container technology and new tools delivering speed and efficiency, Docker's unique value is questionable. Only time will tell if Docker can remain relevant. The whale may not be extinct yet but its future is uncertain. If you like our videos, you may like our system design newsletter as well. It covers topics and trends in large-scale system design, trusted by 550,000 readers. Subscribe at blog.bytebygo.com.